ABC Sims, and we are back with more Sweet Views, and it has been a long time since I played this because I, we finished Toa's route, and then I had to catch up on some other stuff, so it's been a while, but um, yeah, so I'd start a whole new game just because the first place I saved was kind of into stage one, and we have choices that we need to make um, in the prologue here, so I'm actually going to skip everything that we read. Okay. So, we're starting over. We still have the same name and everything because the game remembers the name we chose. That's awesome. Um, but we're starting Mayoshi's route, so. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Can we go? Is there a... No, no, no. Sorry. No. Um. There we go. Oh, okay, so... Oh, this is new. Oh, right, right, right. I think after you do one route, there's new stuff. Okay, I was like, I wasn't prepared for that. I kind of forgot, but anyway. So, I sure hope nothing bad happens today. That's what we were saying. And then we said, whoa, okay. As soon as the door opened, someone slammed into me, knocking me off the platform. I was checking the time on my phone and almost dropped it. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look out. I was about to stumble off on the tracks when someone caught me. I turned around to see who it was. This is our, I think this is mystery character. You know, who were, you can't go down his route first, but you have to go down it last. Um, well, that's the recommended, but anyway. Are you all right? He looked cheerful and friendly. I thought I could smell the faint aroma of citrus. Th thank you. Huh. Is that Kane de Boo? Is it Boo? What is it? Like, it, but that's like the, I don't, a anyway, that's what we're calling it. That's, I, but I feel awkward every time I say it, because it was like, Anyway, I followed his gaze down to my cell phone strap. Okay, this is where we're supposed to say you know who it is. You know who he is? Y yeah, sort of. Oh, well, be careful, okay? With a grin, he turned and disappeared into the crowd. All right. Okay, so that was the prologue part that we were supposed to... That's different. But I'm pretty sure... Um, so a lot of today we'll be skipping. I think by stage three, we had gotten into our route. So we're going to be skipping through the first game. Um, and probably the second one. So I don't know if a lot of this part will probably be skipping. But hopefully we'll get through the skipping in this part, so we won't have to have, like, hours of skipping, but... And we'll have different choices, I think. Well, no, not really, because actually, in this one, some of the choices are the same that we made. Ha ha, because I'm smart, so... <laughs> well, also because Wakasa and Mayoshi are some of the same choices and, like, choose who to partner with, and it's kind of like, well... Just the way it works, so. Anyway, getting to know each other. La la la. Getting to know Mono Pig. Mono Pig! <laughs> yeah, it's getting annoying. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Um. You don't realize how repetitive it is until you're skipping through and you hear it every four seconds. I kind of do wish there was a skip to the next choice option. Um, no. I was just wondering because sometimes, but... No. I love our little chibis. <laughs> little chibi character. I love our sunglasses, asshole. <laughs> but anyway... La la la. So yeah, okay, here we go. On to our first thing. So we'll get to our choices soon. Um, yeah. Oh, that's... That little... Nur, 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 is gonna get real annoying real fast. And it's already annoying. And we're four minutes in. Well, about five. So five minutes in. But... Alright. So now we are in our room. Ah. Uh... Okay, so I think... I wonder if it shows you... I know it shows you the choice. 
in this, I wonder if it's going to show me the choice that I already made because I technically started a new game. But it obviously knew, I mean, it's not like starting, okay, it does. I, this was what I was just wondering. Just because it knew the name that I saved and it knew that we already played one game. So I just, I don't know. Anyway, how do we want to split up? This is what we're going to do. So that's the same thing we did. So this might, a lot of it might be the same just because, I don't know. We'll see, things might be different later on because I don't quite remember. I just knew that the route order recommended Toa and that's what we did. Yeah, so. No. La 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 la. Hmm, which button are we supposed to press next? We did. Oh, we were supposed to say the stomach. Oh, okay. I think we should push the stomach next. Are you sure about that, little lady? We get this wrong and we're in real pickle. The truth can make or break a hundred things. Or just us, as is the case in this particular predicament. Uh, so check your sources and get your facts straight. I was wrong. It's the tail. Very well. I shall push the button. The tail, correct? When Urabe pushed the button on the statue's tail, a small chime sounded. Okay, so... Oh, I think it's because if we say the tail, we get love points um, with what's-his-face, right? And that the game is trying... We're trying to choose things that don't give us love points with other people, but, like, like it matters. Okay, so, yes. Uh, awaken to your destiny. We'll just pick anything else. Doesn't matter because it's Awaken to your destiny. We already know that, so... We're actually supposed to get this. We're actually... The thing is... I don't think you're supposed to get it right. It's just if you don't get it right, you're like, damn it, I didn't figure it out. And then, like, I don't know what happens, but. La, 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 la. Okay, so. Just gonna go on skipping through things. Now we're doing things and poking buttons and reading things and doing stuff, poking buttons, finding a chest, going downstairs or whatever. Don't do this. Do this. Don't do this. I don't know. Um. Do, 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 do. Now we're gonna see Ninja Boyfriend. I, I just, I don't know what to say because we're just skipping through stuff, so I'm just... What should I do? We're supposed to stop. I think we're supposed to stop him because, again, this woman will get love points with him. Wait! Don't try and make him tell you! What did you say? Yeah, are you nuts? You can't just beat it out of me. Yeah, maybe not, but I can try. Although at this rate, we're never going to find anything. Hey, if you really don't want to talk about it, that's okay, but even a tiny little detail could be the clue we need. So, could you tell us what you noticed? Uh, okay, I guess I might as well. So maybe I pushed him a little, but what Mirohashi was doing was too much. Or maybe if we stopped him, we got love points with Toa. I don't remember, but... We're trying to avoid that. We're trying to avoid getting love points with everyone. Although it doesn't really necessarily matter as long as you get all the right points with Mayoshi. We'll let him try, because obviously we need love points. Oh my god, it's our first love point! Because, like, literally... <clears throat> Alright, so now we're gonna... Do, do, do. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Hmm, okay. I'm just looking at some of the things ahead. Mm hmm. <laughs> I love that. I love that CGM. Like, Come to me, I swear I will take you onto the tail of the comet if you drink the Kool Aid with me. It's just fucking insane. Um, no, I'm fine. I smiled and shook my head. I'm tired, but everybody's tired. I'm sure Urabe is too. Thanks, but I'm fine. Of course. There's no shame in asking for help. If you need any, you have only to call. He smiled again, then turned and headed off up the stairs alone. I followed silently. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I do love our nutter butters. He's carrying his fucking crystal ball with him like a crazy pants. The fuck it. 
I just carry it with me everywhere I go. But it hovers. It's like a magic trick. They're like, could you stop? Oh, he's insane. Hmm, how should we split up this time? We are examine the floor with Shurabe and Meoshi. Perfect. Meoshi. I said Meo. Shurabe and Meoshi. Wow. I'm apparently trying to rhyme. Uh, anyway. I decided to investigate the floor with Shurabe and Meoshi. Remember, if you find anything, don't touch it. I don't know what does what in here. Right. <clears throat> we spread out in different directions, scanning the floor. It seemed totally ordinary until I spotted a mark about the size of my fist near a wall. There's something over here. It looked familiar, but I couldn't quite place why. And this is three-leafed wild ginger. Oh, that's the Mito seal. Uh, correct. They also call it the... Wow. Mitsubaoi? That's a lot of fucking vowels. That's a lot of vowels there. Anyway, it's pretty well known. Like you said, it was used in Mito. And the plane is called Asarum? Okay, that's like... That sounds like Latin and I don't... Anyway. Or wild ginger. Usually it has two leaves. Three-leaved plants are exceedingly rare. Maoshi spoke up. Ito Palace was the home of the ruling Tokugawa family. And the protagonist is actually part of the family. So, that means this is the crest of the ruling clan, right? Do you think this could be the Holy Seal? I think so. Look at this. Uh... It's sticking out just a little. See, my money says this is some sort of switch. Then something will happen if we push it. That's how switches usually work, yes? I don't think we're going to find anything else here, though. Mayoshi nodded, and we decided to regroup and see what the other teams had found. It only took a few minutes to go over everything we'd learned. Shido reported finding a diamond-shaped hole going all the way through the statue from its stomach to its back. Also, the statue and its base were apparently made of different materials. Mirashi reported that they discovered the sliding doors were mostly just painted on, although there were a few real ones. Each wall had one real door, so if we didn't count the entrance, that left three possible exits. Alright. Uh, uh, uh. So, okay. And this is where we're gonna, like, get the sword and stab it through the thing and then fuck up and then get him shot with an arrow, because... Poor Mirashi. He's just... Ah! Yep, there we go. Get him shot with an arrow. I have to say something. If I just jumped out of the way, we're supposed to actually ask if he's okay. Okay. So. All right. And now we're going to go through our explosive insight again. Do, 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 Um. Different. Different is what we're supposed to get, so. Just. <sighs> I like that they give you three in case you're like, or like the one time I was like, I don't, wait, what? <laughs> um. But, like... What is he thinking? This probably isn't the time to start a fight! But he's being an idiot! We're supposed to restrain ourselves. I really want... I hope at some point we're supposed to get mad. I really want to get mad at some point. Like, I really do. It'd be funny as shit. Um, but no. I did read in a guide somewhere that was like, usually, in general, restrain yourself with your teammates and get mad at the pig. Um, but I really hope there's a time where we have to get mad at him, just because. Uh, this is the interesting part here, so we're going to have to yell at the pig. But it says to restrain yourself with the pig. Hmm. What's his deal? Telling us all off when he's the one who did all this to us in the first place. I want to be like, what's wrong with you? But no, we're supposed to do this. This really cheeses me off. But I can't make a stink about every little thing he says. I'm supposed to restrain myself, and I don't like that. But, interesting. I decided to just ignore him instead, and so the barrage of insults continued for some time. 
After a while, we just stopped listening, and eventually Hogstein seemed to tire himself out. Is he finally done? I'm, I just like better. What's wrong with you? I want to do that every time, but trying to do right by my Yoshi. Just, I'm just saying, and apparently. Who do I want to go with? We're going to go. Well, let me say. <gasps> hmm. Right. We're going <laughs> to. So this will be different. I decided I wanted to go with Mayoshi. So we have like 50 minutes of skipping. Look at this little GB. It's so funny. Mirunashi <laughs> uh, really sounded like he didn't want me around. So I should go somewhere I want to go. Huh. And you're going to the arcade too? Yeah. Is it okay if I tag along? Yeah, I guess so. We headed off towards the arcade, but... Aw, oh, man, it's closed. Yeah. With the arcade dark, there wasn't much we could do there. So we turned around and began making our way back toward the restaurant. Um... Huh? Did you say something? Uh, why did you want to come with me? Oh, uh, well, I thought hanging out with you might be... Questionable. I thought I might learn something about... Questionable. I'm assuming I thought hanging out with you might be fun, and I thought I might learn something about you. This is the one we're supposed to choose, and the guide actually does put you in brackets so that you know that that's what it's supposed to say. So, I just thought I might find out something about you, I guess. Uh, something about me? I'm just an unemployed shut-in whose only skills revolve her own games. Sounds like a winner. Can't wait to date him. Oh, um... He went silent after that. Although, I mean, I can't really make fun of him because I'm, well, I'm an employed shut-in whose life revolves around playing games for you guys. So, I mean... All right, never mind. Oh, God. Anyway. He went silent after that. I wasn't quite sure what he'd been trying to say. He's all angsty and sweaty. That's not attractive. <laughs> I frowned and kept walking, but I felt something tug at my sleeve. I turned around to see Mayoshi grabbing it. I mean, he's like wearing a straight jacket. <laughs> like, uh, I just want to say... Say what? Well, thanks, I guess. For back there. Back there? In the hallway. For believing in me. Oh, right. I don't get that a lot. It was nice. And with that, he fell silent again. He's a little strange, huh? We didn't say anything else until we reached the restaurant and met up with the others. Okay. Woo! This thing by my door is always hot. So the sun's barely poking me, but it's like, woo, it's warm in the sun. Oh my god. I should have a normal hoodie on and not like a hoodie that doesn't have a zippy. So I just kind of have to like sit here with it wrapped around my neck like a giant fucking scarf because I can't pull it over my head because I have a headphone. So. Do, do, do. Who should I hang out with? Look at how happy he looks when we're with him. <laughs> That's adorable. He looks the same. He's just as, he's just as grouchy and bitter. Okay. He looks kind of happy. He's like, oh yeah, I guess. He's like, yeah, I got the girl. And he's like, I am just so overjoyed. Hirashi's like, yeah. And he's like, uh, look. He's like, uh, to like, what the fuck? <laughs> I just like it, like. Uh huh. Mayoshi? Uh huh. He jumped when I called out and looked startled when he turned around. Oh, what's wrong? It's late. I couldn't get to sleep. What about you? I couldn't sleep either. That was when I noticed he was holding a can from a vending machine. Oh, they've got vending machines here? Awesome! Maybe I'll go get something. Um, well, here. Huh? He held out a can. Oh, no, you bought that one. I can go get my own. Well, uh, I've actually got another one. You bought two? Yeah, I was there already, so I thought I'd get, um, one for... Huh? N never mind. See it. Oh, wait, I mean, we've got two, and we can't. We both can't sleep, so why don't we drink them together? 
Uh, he's totally frozen up. Does he just really not want to drink with me? I was starting to wonder how long he'd stay like that when he finally spoke. Uh, yeah. I mean, we do have two. Exactly! <laughs> We're gonna kill this poor kid! <laughs> like, he's like, I just, you're talking to me, and you're like, yeah, let's have fun! And he's like, ah! <laughs> We are way too energetic for a shut-in. I plopped down onto the sofa in the lobby. After a second of hesitation, Mayoshi sat down too, and awkwardly pried open his can. He had two different ones, mind you. You're like, what if I wanted the other one? Dick, you didn't even ask me which one I wanted. <laughs> Fucking kidding. Are you okay with that one? Yeah, I love milk tea. Huh. So what about you? Wait, is that red bean soup? Oh, from a can that you don't heat up? It's weird. Yeah, I like it. Why? Is that weird? Well, no, I guess it's not weird. It kind of fits you, actually. So weird. I see. Our conversation didn't seem to be going anywhere, so we just drank in silence. You, uh, probably need to get back to your room. It's getting late. Yeah, you're right. Oh. Well, what is it? Um, just thanks for not saying that I'm weird. Well, now you're being weird. Huh? Night. With that, he turned and left, and I stood there dumbfounded, trying to understand what had just happened. Um, what was that? A weirdo being a weirdo. After a few moments, I shrugged and headed back to my room. Whew, well, I'm definitely sleepy now. Just look at the time. Okay, we can skip now, because we've already... And now we're having dreams again. We're all awake. It's morning time. We're gonna go to stage two. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> now we go to Alice in Wonderland! Oh, and I wonder. Oh, see, we chose. We had to play, do rock, paper, scissors, and I chose scissors. And we got Mayoshi by accident. So, but we're supposed to choose scissors. So, I want... I mean, obviously, it changes who you're with each time. But, you're only getting one of... Some of... You're not getting everybody. I'm going to assume... So, scissors is with Mayoshi. Toa and Mirashi always have to go together. And maybe you don't get to go with Urabe. Oh, actually, Shido always goes by himself, right? So... So then you probably... Other ones you're getting Urabe and... Uh... What's his face? Why can't I remember his name? Anyway. Shurabe, yeah. Because Mirashi goes with Toa and they're always together. And you probably can't... And Shido's by himself, so you probably can't go with him. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> Unfortunately, nobody else seemed to be doing anything. Look, we're supposed to say, stop it, you two. Look, I've made all the right choices for Mayoshi the first time we played this. <laughs> um, <clears throat> That's all right. There's gonna be... What should I do? The ceiling's still moving down, but... The ceiling's gonna crush us! This whole second chapter, I made all the right choices. I mean, I don't think it really matters, because obviously... You're not getting really love points with anyone, so... I wonder if you ever choose the other options. Meh. Find out. Well, I think this next one's different. I don't think I did this. <clears throat> I am with the queen of hearts. Dunna. No, it ain't really smart. Dunna, na, na. Tell him the answer. I tried to make the shape of a heart with my hands, but... Huh? Bzz, too bad! Q 
can't let you just tell him the answer, can I? That wouldn't be any fun at all. The shutter's going to stay closed until he heads back. What? That's not fair. It stunk, but there wasn't anything I could do. Are we really just going to have to hope they get it right? Sorry. There's just... Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, we're supposed to... Where's the queen of hearts? Oops. Nope. Oh, we... Oh, we... There she... There she is. I was just picking things until we got to queen of hearts. I almost put queen of spades because I saw queen and I was like... Whoops! I'm gonna fuck that all up. Just click random things. Uh, anyway. That's what my bird sounds like, and also what Mono Pig sounds like when he gets mad. <laughs> uh. do, do, do. Oh my god, really? I gotta restrain myself from yelling at fucking Mono Pig again? I don't like that. I wanna yell at Mono Pig. Game is hard and scary! He can't just say we didn't beat it just because he's mad! Ah, if I say something, I might just make him angrier. I'm mad at myself for restraining myself all the time. I decided to keep my mouth shut, but Miranashi apparently didn't feel the same way. You know you give me that crap! If you don't follow the rules, then what's the damn point? I Seriously, that's your argument? If that's how you're gonna play it, you should know we've got some tricks up our sleeves, too. I don't want to restrain myself. I want to be like, what's wrong with you? But I don't get to say that at all. It looks like I have to restrain myself all the time in this route. Oh, I guess because the little closet weirdo doesn't want us yelling at the pig. It ruins my life. What were you just doing? All right, so. I think stage three is where we, was it, or stage three was the last chapter before we got our route, I can't remember. We'll find out, because we'll be there soon, so we've got a couple more choices here, but. <clears throat> what were you just doing? What were you doing? No point in beating around the bush. Didn't I tell you when I left? I was just gathering information. Nothing much to gather, though, unfortunately. He shrugged, dodging my question. It looked like he wasn't going to fess up. It's just like an interesting group of people, anyway. What should I do? Were you on the phone? Now we're suspicious of everyone again. Oh, God, the light is poking me in my fucking eyes. Who should I hang out with? Gee, I wonder. The music for break time is fucking hilarious. I don't know why it's funny to me, but it is. Mayoshi? Oh, hey. Is something wrong? No, not really. What are you doing up so late? Can't sleep. Huh. I'm kind of nocturnal. I usually sleep a lot during the day, but I can't exactly do that here. Kind of sucks. Feel that. Oh, guess you couldn't catch any shut-eye last night either, huh? I got a little in the morning. You need more than a little. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. I know I need to be rested for tomorrow, but... Hmm. Well, have you tried counting sheep? Yeah, no luck. Has anybody actually ever done that? When you're tired, like, one, two, three, four. So, like... Thinking about that thing that we were doing at work yesterday. Like, I mean, does it actually, like, I just... Or is anyone, like, I'm trying to sleep. Oh, let me count sheep. Does anyone actually, like, resort to that? <laughs> does anyone actually do it? Well, then, to heck with it. Sleep is for the week. <laughs> huh? 
Oh, we made him laugh. <laughs> He's never laughed before. <laughs> I don't think that'll solve anything. You're pretty funny, though. He started laughing again, and I felt rather pleased with myself. <laughs> oh, man. I actually feel kind of sleepy now. Thanks. Happy to help. I laughed you into a coma. Good. I succeeded in my job here. Uh, see you later, then. Night. He yawned and headed back to his room with the wave. Well, I'm not sure what exactly I did, but it seems like it worked. I smiled. By the time I got back to my room, I was so tired I could barely stand. I took a quick shower and collapsed into bed. A quick check on my phone showed that my uncle hadn't responded yet. Oh, I don't know why we're reading this. We can skip through. <laughs> I was like, why am I still reading this? Nope. Jazz hands. Jazz hands! Kind of forgot all about jazz hands. All right, so I guess it's stage four then. Uh... <clears throat> Which will be interesting to see how different it is because, you know, in Toa's route, we got pulled off the ride and everything like that, so. Oh, right, because this is the one where... Right! Well, this will be different, too, because we're obviously going not with Toa this time, so. That's going to be fun when we get to this part in Urabe's route, because I'm just really curious how that's going to work. I trusted you, and I was falling in love with you, and you betrayed us. And just like, in like, every other route, he's just never seen or heard from again after this. So it's like, anyway. Uh, we go with Shido and Mayoshi. Well, Shido is reliable, and Mayoshi seems to know a lot about games. Can I go with you guys? Of course. And that was that. <laughs> I, I want to go with you anyway, because I love you. <laughs> like, like that wasn't expected of me anyway. You're like, wait, is he an asshole with glass? Yeah. Anyway. Although, Shirabe is actually an asshole, but not in the fun kind of like, you're just an asshole. He's like, no, you're kind of an asshole. I just... Like, I don't know. Like, he seems okay in the beginning until you get mad at your kid all the time. And then it's like, you know what? I don't care. You don't just... <sighs> Look, I don't like kids. But even I know that what you did and what you're about to do coming up is an asshole move. And I like you a lot less. That's all I'm saying. Just... Also, the kid thing's a turn-off. But, like, mine may be cute and all, but still a turn-off. Anyway. All right. I wish you all luck. If something happens... Well, without our phones, there's not much we can do, honestly. Oh, hopefully we'll find a way to preserve on our own. Or preserve on our own. Wow, I should learn to read. I'm ready to take whatever they've got. We can do it, guys. Oh, we can't. We nodded to each other as a piglet came trotting out to meet us. Jazz hands? <gasps> what the heck is this guy saying? Okay. We can skip this because we read all this already. We split off into our groups, and I headed toward the leftmost door with Shido and Mayoshi. I am guessing this flashlight is for us. He plucked the flashlight from the hook on the side of the, enter uh, the entrance and pushed the door open. And it's dark. Yeah. Let's go. Make sure you don't get separated. We should hold hands, then. <laughs> I'll be in the middle. <laughs> With only the flashlight to see by, we headed deeper into the hospital. The whole place smelled dank and mold uh, moldy and was cold enough to make me shiver. Our footsteps sounded loud in the empty hallway, and when a voice suddenly echoed over the intercom, I nearly stumbled. Listen, this labyrinth of the dead devours the souls of the living. Listen for the footsteps of the creeping death. Devours the souls of the living. A lesson for the footsteps of the creeping death? What does all that mean? 
The flashlight showed us the decayed, peeling walls of the hallway, and pieces of something scattered across the floor. <laughs> Can you just imagine this game in VR? Like, you're like, okay, I'm just gonna walk. Ah! <laughs> Fucking horrifying it would be. Dude. Like, the creepy walls. You're like, this is gross. <laughs> like, you know, it's a game, but it's to be scary as shit. It'd be kind of fun. Um... Yeah, they need to get games like this in fucking VR. That'd be fun as shit. Could you imagine? I would get a VR headset for that. <laughs> I don't have the money for that, but... Anyway. I'm not sure what that was about, but it doesn't look like there's anything here. We should keep moving. Yeah. We began to move forward again. Gah! I felt something crunch underneath my foot. The alarm on my terror gauge began to go off. Whoa, calm down. It was just a chunk of concrete, okay? His voice was soft as he laid a reassuring hand on my shoulder. I love you. R right, hold me. <laughs> I know it's not his route, but I'm still going to say these things. I took slow, deep breaths, and after a few seconds, the alarm slowed and finally stopped. I'm sorry. I'm okay now. As long as you're still in the game, we're fine. Exactly. If you're better now, we should keep moving. Right. The announcement hadn't been metaphorical when it described the hospital as a labyrinth. The hallways turned and twisted everywhere like a maze. It feels like we could get lost in here really easily. You're right. We should mark our path. Sheeta pulled a pen out from a pocket in his suit and carefully drew a mark on the concrete. Ah, oh, that's my nerd. This way we can find our way back out and we'll know if we cross our own path later. Looks like Hansel and Gretel. Oh, like Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, except for we're putting marks on the wall. Not breadcrumbs, Jesus. Yes, in a manner of speaking, although their trail of breadcrumbs was eaten by birds, hopefully nothing in here eats ink. <laughs> they just have someone like sneaking up behind them, like just repainting the wall. <laughs> Tiny itty bitty, a piglet with an itty bitty little paint can and an itty bitty little paint roller, like, ch -ch -ch -ch, running, like sneaking behind them, that's like painting over and shit. <laughs> kind of like in Labyrinth when she like draws her like lipstick marks on the rocks and then the little like thing turns, pops out and turns the stone around to fuck with her. <laughs> I tried to keep joking as we moved forward, hoping that as long as I didn't think about how scary everything was, I wouldn't set off my terror gauge again. Shido and Mayoshi seemed to share my sentiments, and for a while we managed almost non-stop banter. We left marks behind us as we moved, and eventually arrived at a staircase leading to the second floor. Do we ever get the staircase in the other path when we were with Toa? Like, I don't remember getting to a staircase, but... Yeah, it looks like there's a directory here. Well, let's have a look. He brought the flashlight up to illuminate it. Nightmare Maze, Vivisection Lab records. Looks like we've got a long way to go. Oh, we should hurry. We continued talking as we climbed the stairs, and at the top we found another pitch black hallway. The maze is going to make meeting our deadline tough, but do you think there are going to be traps and stuff too? I'd be surprised if there weren't any. Shido shook his head, but before I could respond, Mayoshi spoke up. I heard something. What? Listen. G Wh what is that? From somewhere in the maze, I could hear a slow, awkward shuffling noise. Whatever it was, it was coming closer. I'll go check it out. He shoved the flashlight into my hands as he spoke, then moved up to the intersection and peeked around the corner. Hey, turn off the light! I scrambled to turn it off, and Shido made his way back toward us. W what was it? He's like a fucking zombie. A monster. <laughs> At Shido's direction, we hid ourselves behind a nearby pillar as the noise came steadily closer and closer. Calm down. Breathe. I chanted those words to myself over and over, willing my heart to slow down and not trip my terror gauge. After a few tense minutes... <laughs> that noise is disturbing. <laughs> a shadow carrying a lantern stepped into the intersection. Shido had been right to call it a monster. 
The creature's skin was peeling off, and its body was wrapped and twisted by scars and lesions. Moaning labored, breath, uh, moaning, labored breathing accompanied its shuffling footsteps. In one hand, it carried a submachine gun that looked sort of like an Uzi. I swallowed. The noise we heard was its footsteps. I clapped my hand over my mouth, but as I did, the alarm on my bracelet suddenly began to ring. Ah! Before I could even react, Mayoshi put a hand over the bracelet, muffling the noise. Relax. R right. I shut my eyes tight and let out a shallow, wavering breath. And just stay calm. Your heart rate will slow down again. His voice in my ear was a calm whisper. We kept our bodies as still as stones. Hold your breath. That'll slow down your heart rate. <laughs> so you pass out. Looks like it's gone. At last, the alarm for my bracelet went silent. Oh gosh. Thanks, Mayoshi. Sorry. Uh, don't worry about it. I don't think anyone would blame you for being scared of that thing. But what was it? A zombie. What? Now that I thought about it, Mayoshi had mentioned before that the attraction was based on a game that involved trying to avoid being caught by zombies. I'm not sure what the model was, but that looked like a submachine gun he was carrying. Even an amateur could fill you full of lead with one of those. He looked a little nervous. Well, we've still got to make it through here without setting off our terror gauges. Now we've just got to watch out for zombies, too. With submachine guns. Yes, we'll need to be extra careful. So we headed deeper in, taking care to listen for more zombies. The future, uh, the further we went, though, the more the hallways crisscrossed, meaning zombies could come from any direction. Shido and Mayoshi seem fine. Are they even scared at all? Yeah, they're just hiding it. I forced myself to take long, deep breaths in an attempt to calm my racing heartbeat, but... Yeah! I felt like someone had thrown my chest in a vice. I forced my mouth shut, muffling a scream, and crouched down against the wall. Or at least I tried to crouch. Oh, s sorry. Huh? Mayoshi had wrapped his arms around me. For a moment, I was stunned into silence. He's... he's really close. Oh, um, uh, this, um, er... It looked like he hadn't really realized what he was doing either. He's so scared he grabbed you. Ah! I just thought, uh, the alarm might go off again and, um... Right, uh, thank you. I didn't do it on purpose. I, I mean, I didn't mean... N no, I, I'm just saying I, um... I can't... I can feel my heart beating pretty fast, but I don't think it's from fear this time. The words had barely crossed my mind when the alarm began to ring. Uh, oh no! I quickly looked down at my wrist, but the sound wasn't coming from my bracelet. <laughs> huh? Oh! We're giving the poor kid heart palpitations! That's adorable. He's not scared, he's horny. <sighs> it was Mayoshi's gauge that was going off. He turned away and his face looked strained. Oh, wait, is he? Um, you... Could you, um... Step back a bit. Right. <laughs> Shido was just standing there like, fucking teenagers. <laughs> Nervously, I walked back a step away from him. That was pretty scary, but I guess it's nice that he was worried about me. Although, why did his alarm go off? Was he... No, what am I thinking? I shook my head to clear it and took several quick, deep breaths. Girl. Although in a horrible, defying situation, you're like, am I scary? Yes. Just... Not in the way you think. What was that scream? It sounded like a girl. Do you think there's another girl in here? It's possible. If they're a civilian, we need to get them to safety as soon as possible. And they could get killed in here. If worse comes to worse and we fail, the explosion would definitely kill them. Okay, I think it came from over there. We headed off in the direction of the scream, making sure to keep our eyes open for zombies. There it is again! And we're getting close. I spotted a dim light coming from around the corner to the left, the same direction the voice had come from. Do you think she's being chased by a zombie? It seems likely. Let's move. 
We rounded the corner and saw a zombie heading down the corridor away from us. There! Further down the hallway was a shadow of someone else running away from the zombie. And I think you're looking for us! The zombie's shuffling footsteps stopped and it slowly turned to face us. They aren't that fast. And we should be able to loop around and go after whoever it was chasing. He yelled at the zombie again and waved its flashlight. Then we all turned and ran. The moment we'd rounded the corner, we heard the crackle of gunfire behind us. Jesus. Damn. He's not going to pull any punches, is he? I mean, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? As we drew closer to the next corner, I heard Mayoshi's footsteps start to falter. Ugh. Come on, we have to keep going. I can't. The alarm in his bracelet began to ring, and fast. He must be really out of breath. If you give up here, it's game over! If you give up here, it's game over! He gave me a wry grin. Oh, well, if you put it that way, I don't really have a choice, do I? Yeah. Yeah, come on, let's go! Right. He nodded, then turned and tossed something out across the intersection we just come through. What was that? A game? I beat it a long time ago. I'd have liked to hang on to it, but it's sure not worth my life. With a nod to me, he turned and ran off. A diversion! I heard the sound of gunfire move off in the direction he'd thrown the disc. It looked like the diversion had worked. He just carries all of his games around with it. Well, that's why he's wearing a giant padded straitjacket. It's like... It's like 20 pounds of games in here. We rounded another corner and were headed back in the hallway where we'd first seen the zombie. In front of us was a door illuminated by several emergency lights. That has to be the exit. They must have gone through there. Let's go! We leapt through the door. The damp, moldy smell was gone, replaced by the harsh antiseptic smell of a functioning hospital. Okay, so. I was just curious if this was... Like, everybody met up! If it was the same thing, so. We can skip this part, because this is all going to be the same, so. Yeah! Don't you dare hit your kid, you bastard! <laughs> Supposed to find him sexy? Like, psh. No. Turn off. Uh-oh. I'm like, Mitorashi is not my kind of guy. But I still actually really like him. I like him as a character. Like, I love him as a character. He's, like, so entertaining. But, like, ugh. Instead, he's just getting all angry. And he doesn't even seem to care whether she's okay or not. This I understand. Because if we get mad, we'd blow our thing. That'd be fun. That'd be like the bad end. Just a, ba a bad ending. Be like, oh, don't restrain yourself in this scene. And then everyone would have... They'd be like, fuck. And then we'd all die. <laughs> uh. do, do, do. So now we're going to solve the last thing. And then we're, things going to blow up. And so we should be able to... We should be able to get through most of that. We got 10 minutes left or so. Well, it's like... 11. Almost ready. Um... It's weird that nobody notices the creepy thing with the red eyes staring in at us. I'm just saying. I keep noticing it and it's freaking me out and like everybody else is like, yeah, cool, it's fine. Nobody else notices that shit. Like, it's not even like, oh, is there a shadow there? Like, it's because of the red eyes. That's what you notice. Okay, we're gonna get our explosive insight. Yep, here we go. All right. Sure. I just needed something aside. I just need three things. Of course. Whoopsie. Maybe we should all think about it. It's cool you think I can figure this out, but don't you think we should all be trying? 
He was throwing a lot of responsibility straight into, onto my shoulders, and I wasn't really sure I wanted all of it. Yeah, you're right. And come on, everyone. We're almost there. If you think of anything, speak up. Sorry. No. Um. All these sins. Oh yeah, this is the last one because we automatically hang out with Mayoshi at the end of this one, so. Okay. So stage four is where you get our boyfriendo route, and that's where everything stays different. So that's perfect. We can end this part um, after we've gone through that. We'll start at stage four in the next part. Um, what should we do? Think about it more. Maybe we should think about it a little more. Maybe if we think about it more and we don't trust him, we don't. the hospital doesn't blow up. Right. After hearing Urabe, though, I'm having a hard time thinking it could be the red wire. Oh, no. Okay. So he still fucks us up. <laughs> it's just like, wouldn't that be amazing? We shouldn't have trusted him! And we wouldn't all die! I was just wondering if there was going to be a different outcome. Like, is there a possibility? But obviously not. <gasps> I can't keep going! But just as I was about to collapse, I felt someone grab my hand. Oh, it's a different person that saves us each time. I mean, that makes sense. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm... Mayoshi, what are you doing here? Never mind that. We have to hurry. I focused on his hand, picked myself up, and began to run again. We hadn't gone very far before I heard another explosion from behind us. Ah! Gah! The blast slammed into me, and I felt my body begin to fall when... Mayoshi! <laughs> he wrapped his arms around me and turned his back to the explosion. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a scratch or two. What a piece of shrapnel on his back. He was trying to protect me from the explosion. Uh, another blast hit us, far more powerful than the others, and then everything went dark. Yeah, nope, so I mean, we still blow that shit up. <laughs> Would have been kind of interesting if different choices legit. Oh my god, we almost. Like... But also, I'm still annoyed with this one because we had two hours and I was like, no, you got 15 minutes. Bitch, we had two hours! We're supposed to restrain ourselves, but if I make him angry, he might just come up with something worse. Urgh, burns me up, but I'm gonna have to keep quiet. That is my sentiments exactly every time I have to restrain myself at yelling at Monopig. I'd barely made my decision when Shurabe apparently made his own. And don't give me that crap! That's my kid you're talking about! No way I'm letting you do that! If you think I'm gonna take this lion down, you got another thing coming! Sorry. So I wonder what happens in Urabe's route. Like, I'm really curious. I think he might be next. I'm not sure. Um, who'd be visiting me this late? I opened the door to find... Hey. Mayoshi? Is something wrong? I just thought you looked like you were feeling kind of sad. <laughs> So nice of you. Oh, you were worried? N no, not... I mean, um... You're just an important part of our team. If you're not feeling good, that's gonna be... Um, bad. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> She's as dense as I am. Um, yes? That's how video games work, too. Usually you can't get the best ending if you lose any of your party members. I guess if you look at it that way, we're in kind of a bad position now. Yeah, without Urabe, 
great. And it's sad that he's gone, but without part of our team, we're really in trouble. Hmm. Is he trying to cheer me up? He had a strange way of going about it, but something about his attempt was kind of cute. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you're a way more important party member than I am, so... Oh, come on! You're plenty important! Thanks. Thank you, too. I smiled, and he quickly looked away. Uh, anyway, you, uh... It should probably be getting to bed, and I should be doing that, too. Right. Thanks a bunch, Mayoshi. Make sure you get lots of sleep so you're ready for tomorrow. Will do. I think he wanted us to succeed, you know? With that, he turned and left. All right, time for me to get some sleep. And then this is where... Okay, so we're not going to bother. And then we go into... Chapter 4! Stage 4! Now we're in his route. So I'm actually going to stop this part here. Um... Well, we're going to stop here so I can actually save. But, um... So I'm going to stop here. And then we will continue and start Mayoshi's route technically with most of the stuff that... All of it should be different. Um... I would think in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.